what does it mean to you to have the season two from you here at Healy Center tonight? Yeah. So what makes oh, my goodness. Yes. Um, well, well, I'm really so thrilled, thrilled to be bringing the season two. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a joy to be in a place that is such a beacon of creativity in this yeah. industry. Um, uh, so it's, it's everything uh, that has gone before, but <laughs> a celebration of, uh, of such diverse shifts. What does season two hold for Liz? Will we see so much still? Um, in, in season one, we were seeing Liz wrestle with things outside of herself. So her death was a tremendous burden. She was constantly wrestling with it. kind of consumed her world. Um, it also provided a rather helpful distraction from her really looking inward to see what it is that her own future holds and how does she go about seizing that. So in season two, I think what's going to be very satisfying for an audience um, uh, uh, is, is just uh, getting under her skin a little bit. They've so seen her right. look inward and, 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 and right. kind of explore the Dudley legacy in her past in order to figure out what her future right. um, right. and uh, which and so there's yeah, yeah, I just adore playing. I love her so much as a character. Um, um, we know it's on a, there are no uh, kind of quick fixes. So Things aren't uh, ever wrapped up in a box. Uh, she can be uh, with uh, really anything uh, in our oh, show, and I, I want to love it for that reason. Yeah, it feels yeah, I know very it is human and, and had a pretty complicated relationship once in the time that he was not feel like the emissary. Will we continue to explore? What does that looking inward kind of look like for her? Is it something that she kind of struggles with? Yeah, well, we know Liz well enough now to know that she's not really someone that indulges in talking about emotions. She's the opposite to Dud in that sense. You know, what no, no, no. I really no, love about her, yeah. part of what I love about her is that she sees a situation for what it is and just gets on with it. They never wallow. They've had one hell of a year, and yeah. she's had a tremendous amount to the deal with. Um, she could easily be just kind of a drag to be around, but I love her kind of get up, get out, just make money, oh go home, just what what is get on with the grind, which is a lot of people's lives. But um, we are seeing her quite bravely in her sense figure out what it is that makes her do the first things she does. I think on the surface she looks like someone who's very self-sabotaging. And on the surface, that is what's happening. But underneath that, it's the business doesn't want to necessarily know what she wants in life. She's yeah. very honest about what she does she want, and I think that's quite no refreshing because I think women, a lot so of we people do. We all don't really know what they want, and they end up going down like the corporate path or marrying whoever, and sort of getting to a point in life and going, "Oh, why the hell did I do that?" I think Liz, at various chapters in life, will be like, "All right, well, you know." At least that wasn't right. But um, yeah, we're seeing her From navigate new worlds within herself. Okay. <laughs> Sediment in herself, oh, her, enjoy, uh, her past, and looking at things within herself. Oh, I very has been much will. And they have a guacamole recipe, so I know what <laughs> We're seeing a soft And I have my own right. 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 so 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 But she's so also so like really bulldozing her way through Long Beach in a really beautiful way as well. Love it. Um, what does her dynamic with Dad look like and this year? we get to watch at the beginning of season two. So Dad, well, they are still so very close. They are all they have as Dudley is now. Um, Liz would walk over hot coals for Dad, as anyone I think with a sibling would share. Um, and they are inextricably linked. Um, but Dud is very much kind of following his path and what feels right for him in terms of the lodge and saving the lodge, of course. But Liz is, for the first time, actually in a long while, able to have her own space and real sense of independence. She's no, she will always worry about Dud and will probably always be funding him. But she doesn't have the debt. She's not paying for as much, and so she has this quiet space and stillness to go, okay, what about me? And that is both scary and exciting and, <laughs> as I say, it's a really lovely thing to be seeing. But yeah, the Dudleys are very strong and tight. Good to hear. Yeah. Um, and lastly, what for you makes the show a must be? The feeling you have when you watch it. The connection you feel with characters that you can see yourself in, uh, 
but also those characters that are walking down a particular path in life that is very different to your own. But because of how exceptional the writing is, your heart and soul are connected to these characters. I like to think that audiences watching the show feel like they're members of the lodge with us, <laughs> that it is a kind of haven. Um, from a hell of a lot that's going on in the world now. I think ours is a show that you can live vicariously through and also be hopefully entirely moved and entertained in equal measure. Um, it's, as with season one with Dirt, that we are the lynx ring in the sand and you come across us a whole new world of adventures will open for you. Very beautifully said. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great Lovely to meet you. you.